Hi there, and in this short video I would like to show you how to create an extra term set in the term store. Now these term sets you can then use in extra columns to um, tag um, documents with. So let's get started. First of all, let's browse to our SharePoint site. So I'm in my demo SharePoint site here and I've opened the shared documents um, document library. And I got a couple of default columns here and I've created a column earlier that's called document type but I want another column in here so let's say I want another column that um, has the customer name for instance maybe these documents are all related to a specific customer and I would like to tag them with that customer name so what you need to do is first go to the term store and create a new term set for this so the easy way to get to it if you don't have a um, shortcut here on the side um, basically what you do is you click on the cogwheel you go into your site settings. I've opened it up in a new tab. So once in the site settings in here, there's a link to the term store management. If you click on that, that will take you away from the team site and more to the back end of, um, of SharePoint into the term store. So this is the default look and feel of the term store with on your left here, all groups and term sets that have already been created in this particular instance. Um, but if you're going to follow my example, we'll go into um, our demo set here. So this is already the document type term set that I've created for my other column. But like I said, I want to create another column for the customer name. So first of all, we got heaps of customers, so we want to group them and we're going to group them in a term set. So we start off first right clicking here and we're going to say new term set. This new term set is going to be um, customer name. Very easy, straightforward. Once you've created this, um, you can decide if you want the submission policy to be closed or open. Now what this means is that um, if it's closed, nobody can add new customer names um, to the term set. Only term set administrators can come into this term store management and add um, the terms manually. Um, if you keep it open like we often do, um, this way you can on the fly add new customer names in a minute. You'll, I'll show you in a minute once we've set it up so you can see. So once you're happy with this, you just click save. And that's the term set created. Now the term set itself holds all the terms. So in this case, we've created a term set called customer name and a term in there could be um, a company called Contoso, which is one of our customers. Um, we might have another company called HyperX. Um, you can keep on going and going. You can add the terms for this particular term set right here, or you can add them later because we kept this term set open. Now, basically this is all you needed to do to create a new term set in, um, in Office 365. Now, the next step, if we go back to our um, document library, how do we use this in, a, in an extra column? Quite easily. We just click on the plus button here, and this is where we can select what kind of column we would like to add. We click more. This will bring us to a new page. Now in here, we're gonna have a new column name. So this will be um, customer name in this instance. And since we are using a term set for this, we actually click on managed metadata. If you give that a second to load. Again, there's all sorts of things that you can choose to set here. If um, it's mandatory to fill out this column, yes or no. Um, if you would like multiple values, so maybe a document is, um, is for multiple companies that you would like to tag it for, or all kinds of options you can do. Um, this bit here, this is where you select your newly created term set. So once you expand this, I remember that we've created it under the demo group. There we go. This is our term set that we created earlier with all the customer names in it. Um, now we just select the term set itself, customer name. Um, do we like to add names when they're not existing? Yes, we do, since we've kept it open. So we here we say yes. And if you want to, in this case, it's not necessary, but you could always select a default tag that's always selected and then um, 
that way it's always filled out if you want to. Okay, once, you've, uh, once you're happy with your settings, you just click OK. And there you go, the new column is created with the term set behind it. So what you can do now is you can select a file, go to the info tab. And now I can say this particular document is for my customer HyperX. Click on it, it's automatically saved and you're done. This, cost, this document is straight away tagged for the customer HyperX. Easy as that. Um, I hope this makes sense and um, good luck with creating term sets and columns.